All right, working five to nine as in nine to five plus five to nine. That's a very long work day. We decided to invite Marta Cicinato to talk about this uproar with us. Marta is an expert on work-life balance at Newcastle University in the UK. It's good to have you on the program. So did that TV ad, did it touch a nerve with you? Um, yes, definitely. I think we need to think carefully about how we portray workers' life nowadays. Um, we're struggling more and more with work-life balance and working long hours. Um, and so thinking, glorifying um, both having a work a day work, but also having a side hustle needs to be taken carefully. There's lots of reasons why we might have side hustles. Mm -hmm. um, first of all, it could be trying to make ends meet. Um, it could also try to be a way to escape um, home burnout. One of the things that has happened during the pandemic is that we, those of us who have been very lucky to work from home, for example, um, have not been able to leave the house for both work and personal reasons. And therefore, you you end up working very long hours. Um, well, what, well, let me ask you and, this, and, Mar, Mar, what do you say to someone, yeah. who, what do you say to someone who maybe has, let's say has an office job during the day and then goes home and in the evening drives for Uber because they need to make the extra money? That's a long work day. How how do you tell them to find the balance? Um, I, I don't think it's an issue for them to, to do the, the two jobs. Um, one of the key things about work-life balance is to make sure that the worker feels in control of when they're switching between different life domains. So if it is work and personal life or work and another work, for example, um, one of the responsibilities, though, that workplaces need to have, for example, Uber, but also employers, is to make sure that if employers are working multiple jobs, um, where does that the responsibility for their well-being lie? Um, if I have done a, an eight-hour shift somewhere and then I jump in my car and I'm an Uber driver, what, is, what are the implications if I'm really tired and I end up having an accident? Yeah. Is Uber going to be called responsible and I think that is one it's, of the issues that we have and we see with gig economy is is yeah. platforms having to take responsibility for these issues yeah that's a very it's a very in, important point unfortunately Marta we're out of time but hopefully we can get you back on the show another time to talk about this Marta Cecinato with the Newcastle University in the UK tonight Marta thank you thank you